Hey guys, welcome back to Take Control of Your Golf Game. I'm Ben Herring. Today's video comes at a request from one of the subscribers, Dan Jacobs, and a good friend of mine, AKA Captain Hook. So Dan struggles with a problem that a lot of better players struggle with, and that's hitting that snap hook. Now the snap hook that Dan hits, and not all snap hooks are created equal, the one that he hits is where his path comes from the inside and his face gets aggressively close. This is what I'd say a better player does, where they can start to release that thing from the inside. It's not coming over the top. That club is coming from the inside, and then that face is getting aggressively close, and we hit that ball that starts hard right and snaps hard to the left. Now, I just had the opportunity to play a little bit of golf with Dan the other day, and when Dan gets really tired in the round or he doesn't really get focused on his swing tees, Dan gets a little lazy and he hits that hard snap hook by releasing the hands and getting that club face aggressively close. Now the reason that Dan does this and how I would attack and fix this, first we have to understand that the difference between where the path is going and where the face is pointing is going to determine the amount of curvature on the ball. Whether that curvature is a draw or whether that curvature is a fade. And again, that could turn into a hook or it could turn into a slice. And so we have to understand how the face and the path are working together to fix that problem. So now Dan, his problem stems from the fact that his path is pretty far from the inside and then his face gets aggressively close to that path. And so if we're aiming here at that yellow flag, Dan's path is going to get himself probably about two, maybe three degrees out to the right. Now that's probably a little exaggeration, but two or three degrees out to the right, that's not an alarming number. You know, and if you could swing it from the inside to the out, that's a good path that we want to have, a path that we're strong with, path that we can hit nice long golf shots and we can create lots of speed with. The problem is we have to get the face to match up appropriately with that path being two degrees or three degrees to the right. So that's really where Dan's issue comes into play. Now Dan's issue is mainly because he gets his right hand on the golf club really strong. And now if you haven't listened to the video where I talk about mastering the golf grip, click up here and watch this video because this will help you better understand what I'm about to talk about. Now we know from watching that video, right hand is on the club in a really strong grip. So meaning it's more underneath the golf club instead of on top of it. When it's more underneath it, that club face can aggressively close. We can shut that club face pretty good, right? Now, when it gets weaker on there, when this right hand gets rolled more over the top of that club face, it is not as easy to close that club face. And so really Dan's issue stems from the fact that it's, his right hand is really strong Therefore, that face can close aggressively when he releases it at impact. So in the middle of the round, when he's not thinking about holding that face off and he just lets that face go, that's when that snap hook will show up in his round. And so if you're somebody that has it really strong on that golf club, now I get it, there's a lot of us that hit the slice. So we think putting our hand on it quite a bit stronger is going to help us rotate that face and stop that slice. Well, your issue most likely is more of a path issue and if your path is going hard to the left, the last thing you want to do is get that face aggressively closed because then you'll hit that snap hook that starts left and goes further left. Now, Dan doesn't have that problem. So what we want with Dan, we want that right or on top of the club. And I'll show you this, tick or this trick that we talked about in that Mastering the Golf Grip video. So we're going to take a tee just like this. We're going to put it right here in our hands. Okay, so right there between the thumb and the pointer finger. All right, now when Dan puts his hands on it, that tee is pointed more back here to the right. That's a really strong grip. So now, Dan, I want you and those of you that struggle with this same issue, I want you guys to get that hand more rolled over so that that tee points directly at the camera here or points directly straight when we're setting up to hit that shot. So get that on there, and that'll give us a nice neutral grip. Now, we can hit shots with this tee in there, and that'll allow us to hit the ball straighter. So now when he has his path slightly from the inside, maybe two degrees slightly from the end to out, now when he creates that path and he returns the face a little more neutral, now all of a sudden he'll hit a light draw or he'll hit the ball dead straight. But no longer will we see that snap hook 
because now when he releases the club, that club face will get to square as opposed to getting dead shut when he has that strong grip on it. So eventually, when he can go ahead and get his hand on there the way that we want, right? And you can do that as well. So that right hand's a little more neutral and that T is pointing directly at us. So now let's lose the T and eventually we can hit shots dead straight as opposed to those snap hooks. And they should look something like this. If you want to hit dead straight tee shots like that, and you want to put it into the hooks for good, then try this technique out and make sure you stay tuned to take control of your golf game. Hey guys, if you like today's video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That way you can stay in touch with me and you can be updated on all the latest videos. If there's something specifically you'd like to see me work on, go ahead and post it in the comments. I'd love to check out the different things that you guys want to see and I'd love to put out some videos to really help you specifically. So again, if you like this video, go ahead and hit subscribe. That way we can keep you in touch. And if there's something you'd like to see, post it in the comments. If you'd like to learn more information and see more about Ben Herring Golf, go to benherringgolf.com. On there, we have the online scheduler. If you'd like to book a private lesson with me. Also, all my videos are posted on there, plus some testimonials, some things you can check out. So again, thank you so much for tuning in and let's take control of your golf game today.